Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. I thought I would take a moment today to show you how to measure drag washers so that you can order them by size in the event that you can't find the replacement model for the exact reel. This is a real Scott scent and to me it's just the drags are just not holding. And generally when you look at the back end of a star adjuster, if the star adjuster has no room between the case and that adjuster it means that the drag washers are worn pretty severely and need to be replaced. Well, I went online and I just can't find the source for these quantum drag washers. The problem is, is the reel wasn't uh, that, uh, there weren't that many of them made. And quantum being part of Zebco at the time, well, they really didn't stock a lot of parts. They're getting better now, I think, but the, uh, the, the shame of the thing is, is that, well, you may not just be able to find a distributor or a parts supplier out there that can provide you the drag washers by uh, part number. But you can find folks that sell drag washers that, well, if you give them the size of the drag washer, they can uh, size it up with um, various manufacturers out there and usually can solve the problem for you. Well, what does that take? It takes getting to know how to do the measures for that. So we're going to show you how to do that. In the meantime, we'll show you how to take the reel apart. It's been serviced and uh, thought we had it, but uh, we don't. So uh, we're going to remove the exterior pieces and parts. I've taken the handle off. Now I'm going to remove that star adjuster. And as I do, I want to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. And if you do subscribe to the channel, please hit that notification button. That notification button will tell you what I'm posting and when. And if you like the ideas of, of how to fix fishing reels, if you'd like to understand a little bit about the fishing reel industry, the manufacturers, and so on, well, this is the channel for you and this is a good place to uh, go. So hit that notification button. You'll see all the reels I work on and you'll be able to decide whether you want to watch them or not. So I can tell again here if I hold my screwdriver to the top of that stack that's uncompressed at this point that those washers need to be replaced. It's unfortunate I sent the reel back to Scott and uh, he took it fishing and realized well those drags weren't holding. First thing you want to do on this one you want to take the two side plate screws out and I think we have to remove the other pieces of this as well. This is a funny reel. It has an exterior case on it and then it has an interior case. So this has to come off this little click mechanism arm. I'm not quite sure why they did it, but they did it that way. And when I take my pieces and parts off, I like to put them into a parts tray. And I also like to take pictures. Because when I take the pictures, it shows me how the reel came apart. And if I ever have to go as a reference point to figure out how it goes back together again, well, those pictures are invaluable. Now I'm taking pictures with a video camera here. You don't need to do that. You can do it. Uh, but uh, if you just want to take pictures along the way with a digital camera or your cell phone, that works too. Alright, so we're going to take the side plate off now. And you can see we have two long screws that hold it through. And that's where this little piece got in the way. And now this bridge can come off. And now we're down to the set with the uh, drag washers in it. And this is kind of what we were going to show you about. I'm taking off the pieces for this. I'm going to put these two springs right into my tray so I don't lose them. And now we'll remove the main gear. And when you're going to do the drag washers, you want to measure two drag washers. For the purposes of this illustration, I'm just going to show you the one. So this is the drag washer that you want to measure. And most drag washers are sold with a uh, in millimeters these days, not in inches. Sometimes you can find somebody that will actually show you or tell you them in inches. But 
the best thing to do is go get a digital caliper. That's what I have here. Turn it on. And you want to measure three pieces of this. You want to measure the outside diameter. So find the, 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 the diameter piece. This thing says just over 26, 26.3. Then you want to measure the inside diameter. You can use the other side for that. Okay, so the inside diameter, you want to take the two points from your caliper, kind of roll them out, and get that. So that's 15. So we got basically 26 by 15. And then you want to measure the width of that. So this is one. They're all 0.3s. 1.3, 15.3 inside, 26.3 outside. That's the one. And then we had the one under the shaft, so let's go ahead with that one. This one is uh, 17. You know what I'm going to do next. We'll come in and do the inside. That's 8. And then we're going to do the width of this one. And that's 0.8. Okay? So that's how you do it. And then you can go to your uh, supplier. I'm going to go to uh, smoothdrag.com. They're very good about doing this. And uh, we'll see what's available. And if you find out that you have to go a little bit uh, thicker on the washer, that's generally not a problem, thickness being this side. If you need to go a little bit smaller on the diameter on the outside, generally not a problem. If you need to go a little bit wider on the inside diameter, generally not a problem as well. So the whole issue is don't go greater than the outside diameter because you're going to run over it, it won't fit in that crevice there. Don't go smaller than the inside diameter because you won't seat it properly in here. Uh, but thickness, you generally have enough play in your drag stack to uh, make that thickness work. So we're going to go ahead and uh, contact Smooth Drag, see what they have for me, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, get something done here and get this reel back to Scott to take fishing. So I hope that's been informative to you. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, again, if you like to see these types of videos, please subscribe. If you do subscribe, please hit that notification button. So this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Have a great day.